Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to visualize biplot for principal components using base graphics functions in RStudio. I shall use the banknote data set. This data has been discussed in previous tutorials on principal component analysis. Further in another tutorial I have used the same data to visualize biplot using ggbiplot function. I would suggest first watch these tutorials to understand data set and principal component analysis. In this tutorial I shall describe how to create and customize PCs using standard plotting functions. Let's start how to display biplot using the high level graphics function in the graphics package in RStudio. Clear all the objects, values, and windows or plots using remove, graphics.off and shell function. Copy the measurements from sample data set including the variable names. Use red.table function to read the copied data in a table format. True for header argument will specify the copied data contains variable names. In file argument type clipboard to access the copied data. This will create the data set in an object named as data. Use the head function to print the first six rows of the object data. Now let's carry out the principal component analysis. Load the stats package by using require function. Use prconf function to perform a principal component analysis on the given data matrix. In X argument you can specify the numeric or complex data matrix for the principal component analysis. In this argument specify the variables to be used for principal components. Minus 1 shows that the first column containing categorical variable will not be included in the analysis. True for center argument will shift the variables to be zero centered. I shall use false for scale argument. As scaling is preferably done when you have variable measurements in different scales. In this data set all the variables were measured in same units so I shall use non-scaled data for PCA. Print function for PC object will display the information of standard deviation and loadings. Use summary function to print variance related measures of components. I am not going to describe the results and neither will interpret the biplot. If you want to get more details then also go through the previous tutorial on PCA and biplot. Link is also provided in the description. Now let's display this information as biplot for first two PCs using base graphic functions. The package used in base graphics system is already loaded in a standard installation of R. However, for a non-standard installation you can load the graphics package using require function. The main function used to access the graphics state is the PAR function. Simply typing PAR will result in a complete listing of the current graphics state. A specific state setting can be queried by supplying specific setting names as arguments to PAR. So let's add some arguments to this high level PAR function. In type of plot argument you can specify the plotting region to be used. S character in this argument will generate a square plotting region. You can specify a numeric value to magnifying main title and axis labels using CEX argument. In font argument you can set any of the given values to get plain, bold, or italic fonts for main title and axis labels. In family argument specify the name of font family for drawing text. The default value for this argument is blank which means the default device font will be used. Here are some default device fonts that can be used for drawing text. To specify color of the main title and axis labels use color argument. The simplest way is to use the character string giving the color name. You can specify color for axis and boxes around the plot by using foreground argument. Loss argument specify the style of axis labels. Here are four styles which can be specified by giving a numeric value. Start a new plot frame. To set up a graphics window you need specify certain arguments. In this graphics window specify the limits for X and Y axis. You can also use range of PC1 and PC2 obtained from X values in PC object. Set the value for aspect ratio of X and Y axis. All of the above arguments will be effective in the next plotting functions. 
let's add the axis to the plot. The axis function allows the specification of the side, position, labels and other options. Inside argument specify on which the axis is to be drawn on. The axis is placed as shown here. While the AT argument specify the points at which the tick marks are to be drawn. In label argument you can set a logical value to specify whether numerical annotations are to be made at the tick marks. Same arguments can be used for the second Y axis. For this you just need to change the value of side argument. Using two value for this argument will draw the axis on left side of the plot. After drawing the axis now let's add main title and X and Y labels to the plot. For this use title function. Some of the title arguments we have already used in high level PAR function. In main argument you can specify the title of the plot. In line argument you can set a value to specify the placement of labels on the axis in the figure region of the plot. A DJ argument determines the way in which the text strings are justified. The value of 0 will adjust the main title as left justified. You can also use other values for text justification on axis. To add X and Y axis labels use the same title function. In X axis label argument specify the text to be used for this axis. You can simply type the text in quotations however I am using the paste function. The text in quotations will be pasted as such while for showing the value of variance you can use the formula to specify the variance. We can get the value of variance from summary of PC object. In importance component typing 2 in square brackets will take the second value from the first principal component. Multiplying this value with 100 will convert the variance into percent variance. Set the value 1 for digits argument to round the percent variance to one decimal place. You can use character string to separate the terms in sep argument. Similarly with the same arguments you can add y axis label. Just change the text and variance value. The value 5 in importance component of the PC represents the proportion of variance in the second PC. In line argument set the value to 2 to place x and y labels in figure region of the plot. Using 0.5 value for adjustment argument will place the X and Y label center justified. Now let's add the points to the plot. For this you can use a low level point function. In points function the X argument specify the coordinate vectors of points to the plot. The value of 1 to 2 represents that the first two PC values from X component of PC object will be used as coordinate vectors. In PCH argument you can specify the type of symbols to be used for each group in categorical variable. In this data set the categorical variable consists of two levels. The first level represents the genuine notes and second level represent the counterfeit notes. As the first hundred values represent the genuine bank notes so I am using symbol number 16 to represent genuine notes. As the second hundred values represent the counterfeit bank notes so I am using symbol number 17 for this category. In CEX argument you can set the value to increase the size of the symbols. In color argument you can use character string by giving color name for each set of symbols. Now let's add ellipse to each set of categorical variable. First load the ellipse package using library function. If this package is not installed on your device then you can use install package function to install ellipse package. To draw ellipse on the plot use polygon function. In the ellipse function the x argument specify the correlation matrix at least 2 by 2 in size. From the x component of PC object we shall get the correlation from first hundred values of PC1 and PC2 representing genuine bank notes. The center argument specify the position of the center of ellipse. Use mean values of first and second PCs obtained from first hundred values of X component of PC object. Level argument represents the confidence level of a pairwise confidence region. This argument is used to control the size of the ellipse. The value of 0.85 represents the 85% of confidence region. You can fully control the appearance of the ellipse by using different arguments of the polygon function. Border argument controls the color of the border of ellipse. 
you can control the line type for ellipse by using LTY argument. Line width argument will control the width of the border of ellipse. In color argument you can specify the fill color for ellipse by giving the color name and its transparency level in alpha argument. Similarly you can draw another ellipse for the second category representing the counterfeit banknotes. Here you need to select the second hundred values for both PCs. In center argument just provide range of second group of hundred values to calculate mean value of each PC. Also change the color name for fill color of the ellipse. So far we have completed the plotting of variable objects. Now let's draw the second axis for variable vectors. Set the value true for new argument in PAR function. This will allow a second plot on the same graph. Now you create the second axis without clearing the graphics device. In plot graphics window function specify the axis limits for rotations of the first two PCs. Also specify the value for the aspect ratio of the axis. I have already discussed the arguments used in axis function. Here I have used some additional arguments. In color argument you can specify the color for axis line and tick marks. Using null for color ticks argument means color for ticks will be used from previous color argument. Axis color argument specify color for the axis annotations. Similarly do the same for second y axis except changing the value for side argument. If you want to add labels to second axis then use mText function. It will write text into the margins of a plot. In text argument you can specify the character or expression vector specifying the text to be written. The value 3 inside argument specify the placement of text will take place in top margins of the figure region. Again you can specify the size, font, font family, color, and line position for the axis label. Similarly use the same function for adding label to the y axis for second PC. For value for side argument specify the placement of the axis label will take place on the right side of the margins of the plot. I have used an additional loss argument. The value 3 specify the style of the y axis label will be vertical. Now let's add box and lines to the plot. By simply using box function will add box around the plot. To draw horizontal and vertical lines for PC1 and PC2 use a blind function. Set zero value for both vertical and horizontal lines. Setting value 2 for line type argument will draw dashed lines. You can also specify color for the lines in color argument. To add variable vectors to the plot use arrows function. X0 and Y0 arguments represents the coordinates of points from which to draw the variable vectors. Set zero value for both of these arguments. X1 and Y1 arguments specify the coordinates of points to which to draw the variable vectors. The value 1 represent the first PC values from rotation component of PC object. Similarly the value 2 represents the rotation values of the second PC. In color argument specify the color for variable vectors. In length argument you can specify the value for the length of the edges of arrow heads. The default value for this argument is 0.1. The line width argument controls the width of the variable vectors. In angle argument you can specify the angle from the shaft of the arrow to the edges of the arrow head. Now let's label these variable vectors using the text function. In X and Y argument specify the numerical vectors of coordinates specifying the text to be written. Set these coordinate vectors from rotation component of PC object for both PCs. Label argument specify the text to be written. Use the row names of PC rotation component for this argument. You can also adjust size, font, and color for variable vectors names. You can specify the position of variable names using position specifier argument. You can specify position of the text using values of 1 to 4 for each of the variable name. Now let's add unit variance circle for the variable vectors. First create a unit variance circle object by using combine function. 
Divide each value from 0 to 360 with 180 and multiply the result with pi. Take cosine and sine of these values and combine it using combine function. Now again in polygon function use unit circle object as matrix of values. Choose solid for line type argument. Set the color of the border of unit variance circle in border argument. Also specify the border line width in LWD argument. This will plot a unit variance circle. The variables close to the border of the circle have major contribution in PC analysis. Finally you can add legend to the plot using legend function. In X argument you can specify the location of the legend in plotting device region. I am using top left position while you can specify any of the positions as shown in the list. In legend argument specify the categorical variable group names. Use same symbols in PCH argument for groups of categorical variable. Also specify color for each set of symbols in color argument. In font text argument set the value for font type used for the legend text. The size of the legend text is controlled by CEX argument. You can also magnify points by changing the value of point CEX argument. In box type argument I am using and character string for this argument. It means box will not be drawn around the legend. You can control the horizontal and vertical spacing of the legend text by setting the values of X and Y interspacing factor argument. You can specify the legend placement to plot region, figure region, and device region by using XPD argument. False for this argument means legend will be placed within plot region. True for this argument will place the legend in figure region. NA for this argument will place the legend in device region. In adjustment argument you can use values of length 1 or 2 for legend symbols and text adjustment. I hope this video will help you to understand how to create and customize biplot for principal components using our program. Please comment below if you have any questions.